welcome back to Okami. My name is Fetch Games, and I shall be your host forever and always. Today's last time we met Princess Fuse uh, after in freeing, semi freeing from a curse zone that was coming up, or at least an almost curse zone. But either way, we had to go get the canine warriors to defeat the Crimson Helm that's occupying the shrine. So yeah, starting off, we are going to find the rest of them. And you can see the canine tracker is going absolutely crazy, so we gotta scribble! Scribble! I said scribble, damn it! I said scribble, damn it! Thank you! And as you can see, there's a puppy! Give me some food, I'm hungry. Yeah, it's the same thing as usual. So, we gotta go get, uh, feed the- I hate this. Okay. I am legitimately right in front of him. But no, the game says that's not close enough. Like, explain how that works. <laughs> hear that, Ami? Can you believe these guys? Alright, so. Let's go up here. We have a Konohana Blossom up there. We want to go and grab this. And we have some chickens! Whoa! Camera is gyrating, must move. <laughs> so, what I want to do is jump up here. As you can see, the color of the canine tracker is changing. Got... Yeah, right here. Let's just skip the nonsense and just feed him. Because the first four canine warriors just say all of the same thing. It's not really anything new. <laughs> I am full. And this is Ko. Alright, so... Hey, Ami. How many of these canine warriors does this make? Maybe we should go talk to Princess Fuse now. Before we do, though, we have to break the pots to get our free bag of meat. There it is! I would go the other side of the boardwalk just so that you guys could see, but we can't exactly do anything about it just yet because there's this gap right here, but there is this one chest with more glass beads, <laughs> more selling fodder. Whee! So... Wait. Canine tracker's going crazy, and there's a puppy up here. Hey, Ami. 
That Fleabag's giving you the evil eye. I think it noticed that canine tracker you got there. Hmm? What's that? My master, Princess Puse, has summoned me. But first, I wish to try out the skills I've honed on my journey. You hear that, Ami? Princess Fuse forbids me from taking to join in fruitless battles. I can read today. But I want you to prove your right to bear the canine tracker. Why, you? You got a lot of nerve picking a fight with us. Well, bring it on, you flea bag. Right, Furball? Hell yeah, we want to pick a fight. Yep, there was only one right answer. I don't know who this flea bag thinks he is, but he's in for a surprise. This is Tay. Oh boy, this fight is interesting. So basically, how he works. If you see his orb on his uh, scarf glow, that means he is invincible for that dash that or attack that he is about to do. Otherwise, he is free reign. Go on ahead and attack him like crazy. Jump on the button! Oh no! Oh no! You are not doing this to me now! Haha! <laughs> I got you cornered! Haha! <laughs> Sweet! What do you mean I did badly on time? What the frick? A worthy opponent, I see. Let us fight hit where we have more room. You hear that, Ami? Sounds like fun. This time we'll be playing for keeps. Bring it on, Fleabag. You're gonna wish you went straight back to Princess Fuse when we're done with you. Hey, wait. If you've been summoned by the princess, then... Maybe this is another one of the Satomi Canine Warriors. I'm done toying with you. Now you shall feel now you shall feel the wrath of the Satomi Fa Power Orb. The Satomi Power Orb. Satomi Power Orb. Bah! Bring it on, dog breath. We ain't afraid. Oh, Tay? I thought I heard something out here. You two aren't fighting, are you? Huh? Fighting? Uh, of course not. Just some friendly wrestling. Look, not a scratch on either of us. Well, at least now we have five of the Satomi Power Orbs. But you've been naughty doggies. Why did you not come home immediately when I summoned you? Because they were hungry like crap and didn't want to come home to be fed. Hey, Princess, what's with those Satomi Power Orbs? Each Satomi Canine Warrior bears an orb of a different virtue. The Satomi Power Orbs are the Satomi House's greatest treasure. I'd need the orb's power to break Crimson Hell's barrier. But the Canine Warriors never listen when I summon them back. And three of them have yet to be accounted for. I fear something may have happened to them. But there is no one I could send out to help them. Hey, what's with that look, lady? Okay, okay, I get the hint. We'll find the rest of them, too. After all, I said we'd get them all back without a scratch. Wonderful. I'll be forever grateful. I know the general locations of the remaining three canine warriors. I shall mark them on your map. So it looks like we got three left, and one of them is in a very familiar place, actually. You have the canine tracker. They shall return here once you have shown it to them. That is... 
if they have not been injured, or even worse. Please hurry. We must get the power orbs and break the barrier. Well, what do you guys, what do you guys say? We go and track them down. First things first. We have to get the one that's here in Taka Pass. Uh, more so in Sasha Sanctuary. Um, there, there is one in Sasha Sanctuary, and we have to go and get it. So, uh, what we gotta do to do to start that off is head to Taka Pass. And remember that creepy house that we had in the last episode? We have to go there. Hopefully, uh, once it's nighttime. Is it any close to nighttime? No, it is not. So, uh, oh boy. Why don't we check out Sasa Sanctuary while we wait in the meantime? That is, if it doesn't turn to night as we go. We'll see. Yank! What was that? It was like a yoink and a yank at the same time. All right, looks like it's about to be nighttime, but if we head through here, it's just like with Sakuya's tree. To get to the cave of Nagi, you just go through here. Welcome to Sasa Sanctuary. Ami, isn't this the place that Mr. Bamboo mentioned? He said he couldn't get any bamboo to make his bamboo wear. This is indeed the place, Isu. Now, before we head any further... Or hey, maybe, hey, hey! Maybe Joy. not. Hey, you! Scruffy! What are you doing in Sasa Sanctuary? Skipping in here with that innocent look on your face. You have a lot of noise for a wolf. You know this is the Toif of the Sparrow Clan, right? We can't just let you turn around and leave, oh no. We'll tan your hide and send you packing. Boss, let this cocky mutt have it. Hey Scruffy, do you even know who this is? This is the mighty leader of the Sparrow Clan. That's right, the Great Jamba. Big Daddy Jamba. <laughs> okay, boss, take it away. He's all yours. Choip. Uh oh. The boss is seriously angry. What the heck is going on here? Listen up, Scruffy. The boss's precious daughter's been kidnapped, and he's mad. We're doing everything we can to find her. He's searched all over. No one's getting through that gate until she's safe and sound. So go on, off with you! So it looks like we gotta save the Yakuza's boss daughter. <laughs> huh? They're not gonna let us in. And what was that about their boss's daughter being kidnapped? So, before anything else, if I'm not mistaken, right about here, somewhere is here. Yeah, there it is! Boom! It's easier to find this at night, but we get a stray bead. This is our first of a few in Sasha Sanctuary. It's great. So, what do you say we head out and wait for night time? Actually, wait, hold on. There's one more thing I need to do before we head out. Go up these ledges and we get a clover. And bloom. And there we go! Sweet! So, what do you guys say we head back out and wait for it to be nighttime? I say that, and of course it becomes nighttime. 
Oh, oh what is it with my timing? <laughs> Come on, button mash, don't fail me now! Damn it. Okay. Whatever. So, what we need to do is you see that creepy old house over there that we were there last time. But, this is where the boss's daughter is. What we want to do is jump up on this ramp can't do anything about that pile of leaves just yet uh, break these pots and we get an herbs feed bag what we want to do is there's a loose panel here so we want to make things go boom kaboom so Let's jump right in. I don't like the atmosphere of this place. Huh? What are you doing here, shabby-looking mongrel? You've got some nerve coming into people's houses like this. The horrible Mrs. Cutter. The moon's very bright again tonight, isn't it? Moonlight can be a real nuisance for us, you know. It seems to give us strange powers and make us show our true colors. So it makes, us, it makes it hard to keep a normal pretense of life. And when we get hungry, you get so hungry on these nights like that, you know, too. <laughs> Did she say anything different? Uh, no, okay, so. Uh, so, what we want to do is, you, s you saw the red text, what we need to do is bite her, and then bring her into the moonlight. Ah! You saw me! You saw me! Where'd that shadow come from? It ain't human, whatever it is. So you saw me! Now I'm going to kill you! I'm going to eat you all up! Bring it on, you spooks! Come out and fight! And we have some new enemies! They are going to transform into... Crow Tangus. We do not have anything that is their weakness just yet, but I will show you how to get rid of them quickly as as possible. And yeah, do what we can. What we want to do is they basically can work like the red imps, but if they dive at you, what you want to do is wait until they get their sword stuck in the ground, and then. Power slash them. And then do it again. One, two, and there we go. Whew. If you're not careful, they can be a real real nuisance. the girl the boss of the Sparrow Wind was looking for? I better get home, otherwise Pop will be worried about me. But if I go alone, those monsters might catch me again. 
Would you come with me back to Sasa Sanctuary, doggy? Bah, this brat's a handful. Oh well, let's hang with her for a bit. Stupid! Why, you little! Come on, doggy! Let's go! Alright, so Chun's AI kind of works like a little bit like the canine tracker. Like, she'll follow you wherever you need to go, but in a general sense, she'll kind of lead you to Sasa Sanctuary if you need it. Uh, this is where I would recommend having the Peace Belt on, just so you don't get attacked out of the blue. I mean, Chun will be just fine, but at the same time, I, I'm not sure. I think she might yell at you? I'm not sure. I can't remember if she does. I'll have to check that afterwards, but yeah. Let's bring her home. Rough. All right, kid, it's way past your bedtime. Go home. Hey, hey, hey! It's wait. Hey, you, Scruffy! What are you doing in Sasa Sanctuary? The whole Sparrow tribe is on high alert at this moment. No one gets through this gate until the boss's daughter's found. Huh? Ch Chun? Hi! I'm back! Chun! Are you okay? Boss! Boss! She's back! Chun's back! Pop! Pop! I'm sorry, Pop! I won't go out on my own again! Joy. Uh-oh. The boss is delighted! Are you sure about that? This white doggy saved me, Pop! You'll give him something to thank him, won't you? Choip, choip. The boss has accepted you. You're lucky. Okay then, you better come inside. Enter Sasa Sanctuary at her own free will. Uh, I could have sworn there was one other thing around here, but I guess not. Okay, let's go in. Alright, so how about we go on up the elevator? See how we have all these chests here. We've been waiting for you. You did a great job fighting Chun. We want to thank you too. When I told Pop about everything you did, he was really surprised. Weren't you, Pop? Joy. Uh oh. The boss is very impressed with you. We want to give you everything in these baskets as a reward. You can rest at the inn down below. And the hot springs behind the inn is great for relaxing. So, all of these treasure chests are ours. So, I want to do... I want to try and see if I can get this all in one go. First off, we get a coral fragment. A holy bonus. You get a wooden bear. And then we get a traveler's charm. And some glass beads for the right side if you're facing the boss. Uh, there we go. Oh, come on. We get a steel so sake. A dragonfly bead. A steel fist sake, a vase, and an exorcism slip S. 
All right, sweet. So what do you say we explore the inn a bit more? I'm excited. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to an onsen like this, like, or at least a hot spring inn type of thing. It's, it, I, it would feel like, it, I feel like it would be so much fun. <clears throat> the only problem is, like, I know for a fact one of these days I do want to get a tattoo. Um, but first, Stray Bead! Hey! <laughs> Let me get some food, salsa cake, salsa fruit. And we have a merchant here, so if you ever need to buy anything, you can definitely take a look. Uh, what do you have? Uh, all the same old stuff. I'm gonna sell you my treasures. Give me my money, damn it! <laughs> okay. But yeah, no, I, um, I don't have any tattoos right now, but my sister does have two of them. I only want the one. Uh, and <gasps> for those who know me, would probably have a good guess of what it is. Um, like, I know for a fact that one day before I someday get married and all that sort of stuff, I want to get a tattoo of the fairy tale emblem on my shoulder blade, which at the time of recording this is perfect because, like, in just three days' time, at the time of recording this, the new fairy tale game comes out, and I'm super excited. I love fairy tale to death, and it's just the best ever. And it's the first time that this that a game is coming to the U.S. finally, because <laughs> I can't read Japanese for crap. <laughs> oh man, I'd have it be like a nice either like I'd have it be like a solid blue or like if I was really waiting, willing to wait a while and go for longer. Um, I'd have like a galaxy themed one. I just I, I just really like the idea of it. It looks really good. We get some sauce of dumplings here. And we get more food. More food. All right. Come on. There we go. So now what we want to do is go through this door. Excuse me, wait a minute, please. This is, such, this is the Sasa Bathhouse Sparrow Inn's famous natural hot spring. But I'm afraid the water's run out. We're closed at the moment. What do you mean there's no hot water? This is a hot spring, ain't it? It happened the other day. There was a sort of earthquake. And I thought I heard a monster roar. Then water just stopped flowing all of a sudden. Earthquake and a monster roar? I wonder if it was that disturbance where everything went black. Ever since then, I've been praying for the water to return. But it's not showing any signs of springing up again. Never before in the history of Sasa Bathhouse has this happened. I'm so sorry you've come in a time like this. Oh, wait, come all this way only to be disappointed. I blame myself. I must beat myself with my own fried drumsticks. Hey, cut that out. We ain't taking baths anyway. Please, start again. I prayed and prayed and prayed, but the water still won't flow. This is it. The end of the salsa bathhouse. It's dried up now. What will my ancestors think? Beating myself up with my own fried drumsticks would be a fitting end! I already told you, we don't take baths, right, Furball? 
Oh, the smell of this bamboo sure brings back memories. The bamboo from Sasa Sanctuary smells like no other. I can't wait to get started making my bamboo ware. I must finish it in time for the festival. Hey, it's the old bamboo dude. Oh, hello, Wolfie, little sprite. Thank you for all your help. Ever since you found the Sparrow Boss's missing daughter, entry to the Sasa Sanctuary is possible again. I wish I could thank you somehow. <coughs> is there something you're having trouble with? Trouble? Nah. But that Sparrow over there seems to have a problem. Oh, what's wrong, little Sparrow? Please, leave me alone. I have to put things right. I won't set a bad example for the others. If I sacrifice my flesh to the gods, they'll revive the spring. Here we go again. You wish to revive this dried up hot spring? I may be of some assistance in that case. What? What was that? This bamboo tube on my back reacts to underground minerals. I should be able to easily detect where the hot spring water is. You sure about that, Gramps? Yep. My bamboo wear never lies. First, I'll need some help. Now be a good wolfie and dig me a hole. It'll be fun, like a game. Uh, I love Okami to death, but this is my least favorite mechanic out of everything in the entire game. Thank you, both of you! Very well. I'll explain the hot spring digging game. When the game begins, I'll start walking around. Your job is to rapidly dig so I can get deep in the ground. But be careful, many dangers lurk underground. I'll focus on walking so I won't be able to avoid danger. And if I get hurt too badly, I won't be able to play anymore. But if I'm able to get deep underground, I'll show you where the hot spring water will bubble up. Shall I explain it again? No. I'm fine. Very well, let the hot spring digging game begin. So these are digging mini games. There are two that are absolutely required, but there's one that's like there's like one that's optional. Oh no! So basically, we have a, a, a set time limit, and one thing we can do is bloom these to get more time. You want to break these and then dig down as quickly as you can. Do not let the uh, person that's with you hit the uh, spiky blocks, otherwise you will lose time. Uh, this first one's pretty easy. Um, these blocks right here, they are able to be power slashed. Uh, come on. Game! I ain't got time for your shenanigans! Power slash this, dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole, and then... Power slash again. Excuse me. And you can power slash him to turn him around. No. No. Come on. There we go. And you can also circle him to speed him up a bit. Uh. Yeah, there we go, that worked. Move faster, Pokey, and find this damn water! There we go, and then we dig, and then the game is complete. Uh, some of these are ridiculous, though. There's even one- actually, no, I'm, I'm wrong, there's not three, there's four. Two of them are absolutely required, two are not, but still. <laughs> There's one that's even where you start at the bottom and have to work your way up to the top. 
it, it's kind of chaos. <laughs> water! Water! The water's flowing again! See? I told you! My bamboo will never lies! Well done, Ami! Thank you. Thank you, both of you! I'll never forget this! You both have free access to the bathhouse whenever you want! Even Ami's just done with this. Oh, we'll dance to the hot spring hop forevermore! Look, Ami, it's happening again. And we have another constellation. Let's get things rolling, shall we? Ah, uh, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I have remained hidden here, creeping along the water's surface. I, Murigami, god of water, am happy to bestow upon you my power. Moisten the thirsty earth and restore the glory of nature. Nurigami? Oh, that's the god of water. That must mean you got the water spout brush technique. Lucky for you, Ami needs some practice. Ami, try to put out that fire with the power of Water Spout. Water Spout is a brush technique that harnesses the power of water. Place your brush over water and then draw a line. The water's power will pass into the line, creating a stream. But enough talk. You better try it before he becomes a crispy critter. Put your brush on that hot spring and draw a line to the sparrow. So what you want to do is you see how, like, there's blue smoke here? Draw a line from that to here. Excellent! No fried sparrow for you, but at least you can make a stream. But the power of water spout doesn't stop there. See that bubbling water in the middle of the hot spring? That's called a power spring. Water power is concentrated there. If you draw a line straight up from that bubbling water, I bet that you can create an amazing column of water. So we draw a line straight up. Yeah! Alright! First try! That's what I'm talking about! Now you can control power springs. Hey! I didn't know you could do that. Maybe we could use this to find treasure in high places. Let's draw a water column whenever we see a power spring. Alright, so... We did find some treasure here. Because up here is a clover! Sweet. Alright. <laughs> All right, so we have one more glowing spot right here. We want to dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Wow, game! You interrupts the freaking... Ah, uh, damn. Maybe we get a lacquer wear set. <laughs> so, uh, you see right here that this door is locked, right? Well, what I want to do is I'm pretty sure you guys have seen Japanese rock gardens. I think that's where they are. 
But we want to put the water into this bamboo shoot here. And that opens up the door. Alright guys, I think we've done enough for today's episode, so... That's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this episode, please hit like, and if you really like this episode and haven't done so already, please consider hitting that subscribe button below my name, or next to my name, wherever YouTube puts it. <laughs> We're close to a thousand subs, guys. I would really appreciate it if you would show your support. All right. Next time, we'll be exploring even more of Sasa Sanctuary. My name is Fetch, and I am signing out!